What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for November 1st, 2022. Yes, we are done with the month of October. We still have the Halloween event going on in game, but what we do have is a brand new CD key code to use on every one of your servers. And we have a look forward to the Thanksgiving and Black Friday events this month. I don't know if we're going to have any other big events but it does seem like Thanksgiving and Black Friday will be on separate weeks. So that means double dipping potentially on some good events. We'll have to see. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and make sure you guys hit that subscribe. button. we're like 400 subs away from 80,000. So if you guys haven't done it just yet, do us a favor. Go down there. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Let's jump right into it. I think most people are just wanting to know what the new code is because they do try to make it a little tricky. But this month we have N O V E for November gift I H all capitalized. And that's going to give you 1000 gems and 10 heroic scrolls. Uh, still using uh, the transcends blood tide queen Arania. We haven't really had great opportunities to test her fully just yet. Uh, I might spend the time today to like regress or swap transcendence heroes it's just tricky to test a new hero nowadays because it takes so much investment especially now we got like x levels as you guys saw yesterday with our sword flash there's just so many things you have to do to invest in a hero it's really hard to test them out but we will give that a try but make sure you use this cd key code on every server you play on now first up we have the thanksgiving event week so as you guys know this is the first we will have what next week's event which should be you know we should just probably jump in the game and take a look at that together real quick so next week's event we have imps adventure uh we have the carnival exchange which it does seem like the pay to win artifact and flag chest are there to stay so that is a goal for free to play players and we have a shelter mission that is less than desirable but not horrible uh definitely some like tenants here uh, potentially a tenant here. I mean, there's like, they're, they're basically just tenants at that point. Like that's literally what it is. And then on top of that, we now have, uh, I guess the Thanksgiving event. So we're going to have this week coming up and the following week, which means, wow. Yeah. We're going to probably be landing on another wishing fountain event. Is that right? On Thanksgiving? Because after this week we should have profit or wait, yeah, we should have Profit Orbs and then Wishing Fountain again. We just had a pretty solid Wishing Fountain week, but Thanksgiving does seem like it's going to land on another Wishing Fountain. We got to make sure we confirm that, try to set it up. Uh, but that is going to be a special Thanksgiving event, and we're going to have a new skin coming out. So let's see. I I'm kind of actually intrigued here for a second. Let me check something. I know, I know you're probably seeing some like black screens pop up here. I want to see what last year's event looked like because I feel like we probably had something similar where the events were kind of staggered between the two 18th. Yeah, it does look like we had a separate Thanksgiving last year. So let's take a look at that real quick. Last year, it was uh, again, it was wishing coins, VIP points and using those mithril pickaxes. To get some points and it looks like you consume these to get some special rewards which was pretty good uh we had some quests it looks like consuming gems to get five stars again man when you look back just one year how the events were it's like man the events are so much better nowadays <laughs> there was a sky labyrinth here nothing really special we'll probably have a special currency in sky labyrinth like we've had this year uh, wishing fountain we had last year we had the gem boxes and we had a couple different packages i think this was like the month after annabelle came out man that was like the last group of heroes that came out that weren't transcendence heroes and we're gonna have a new hero coming out most likely the week after that uh but yeah that was the thanksgiving event last year we are going to have a brand new skin of Transcendence uh, Arania. So Blood Tide Queen Arania is getting a skin. It looks interesting. Big old hat, like a big... Is that, it? Is that an upside down turkey? Looks like an upside down turkey, does it not? <laughs> okay, but that's Thanksgiving. Again, should be Wishing Coins again this year, which is pretty good if you still have Wishing Coins left over. Or... You have arena tickets, or arena tokens, a currency, because they added wishing coins in it, and that can be a huge help. 
After that, we have the Black Friday event coming on the 25th, the 24th, 25th of the month. Uh, so that's going to be the Black Friday event. And that's usually more heavily geared toward pay to win accounts because there's usually a whole tier list, a whole list, I should say, of items you can buy based on your VIP level. You're going to need a lot of gems, like a lot. There's going to be a brand new artifact and there's a new hero silhouette. So that looks really, really interesting. Um, new artifact. It kind of looks like a badge, doesn't it? Like the badges for like the top one, top 10 in the new arena mode kind of does, right? Like it, it, I wonder what that could be. I mean, we know Black Friday is going to be a heroic scroll event. It's going to be a brand new hero. The big question mark is during that week, we'll find out if that hero is going to be the next Transcendence hero or if they're going to do something different for the next year of heroes because essentially six heroes and six Transcendence heroes is like a whole year cycle. Uh, we'll have to see how that turns out. The hero looks really cool. Looks like he has like a big old sword or something like that. Like it looks like a big beefy dude with a cloak just holding that sword up there. Like, yeah, I'm ready to go. Uh, but the artifact, that's interesting. I wonder if it's going to be something speed related because as you guys know, the new X levels don't increase your speed. They just increase your attack, HP, and defense. So they're gating speed behind other upgrades and not levels anymore interesting because of course going from 350 to 400 from the core uh for, from your tree of origin levels that does increase speed but the new x levels don't we already have what three energy artifacts i wonder if we're gonna have another defensive artifact i feel like we're kind of due for another defensive one because we have so many offensive artifacts but defense we have like two options we got crown and we have a and b and then we have like the niche ones like torch for like dot damage and we have Candy bar, which is like a niche one as well, based on crowd control, which I know a lot of people have tons of candy bars and it can actually pay off very well, especially in things like void campaign where you're going against doves and stuff like that. A ton of candy bars. You know, I think I might build that on our own account just for some fun shenanigans. That could be actually pretty cool. So I don't know. What do you guys think this is going to be? We already went over last year's Black Friday event uh, the other day, so we're not going to go over that one again. But it does look interesting having a new artifact. The artifact is probably, probably going to be locked behind two to four hundred dollars. My guess would, like, I just off the top of my head would have to be it's going to be locked behind four hundred dollars. That's typically what we see, but I don't know. So let me know what you guys think about November. Again, another wishing coin event. It seems pretty solid. I know a lot of people used all of theirs, but remember. You can still cash in your arena stuff instead of going for profit orbs. You go for wishing coins if it means more artifacts, sublimation chests, all that fun stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. So make sure you guys, again, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.